Hello everyone, welcome to this series of video on GeoGebra and this is the YouTube channel Jaws for Math. In this video, uh, I'll be talking about how to introduce the concept of differentiation to your students. Okay, and here is the second series in the first video on GeoGebra, I did introduce the application or the software. So here, let's begin with how to use this software to teach your students and have a beautiful lesson. Okay, I'll begin by uh, describing the function. Let's talk about the differentiation or differentiating the function f of x equal to 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x minus 1 okay the essence of doing this is to help your students understand that differentiation is nothing but slow remember that when you're teaching how your students how to actually uh, calculate the slope of a straight line you have a straight line for instance like this let's do away with this curve for now okay instead of doing that i can actually hide the curve let's hide the curve for now we'll get back to the curve now you can tell you, you of course you've informed your students that for a straight line the slope of any straight line is constant at every point anywhere you have the slope you try to compute or calculate the slope of a straight line is constant everywhere okay here is it you can get to the second the fourth to the last tool under that tool you have the slope click on it and select the straight line and immediately you have the slope of this particular line which is 2 and you can see that slope already from the equation 2 is the coefficient of x and according to the general rule of a straight line or the general equation of a straight line which is equal to y which is y equal to mx plus c <coughs> excuse me the m is the slope of the straight line or the gradient so here the slope is 2 okay but for the curve we know that the slope of a curve is actually uh, it varies depending on the it varies depending on the points okay whatever different points on the x axis so here's the curve and you might be wondering how am I doing this you click on the x-axis and extend it so you're actually changing the ratio of x to y axis this is the scaling I'm actually changing the scale the scale of this graph for us to have a beautiful view of our curve okay this curve is nice this way okay what I'm going to do now is to quickly show you how to uh, compute the slope of this curve at different points let's increase the, the size of this line so everyone can see it clearly this is beautiful all right like we've seen again from the line the line has equal slope everywhere but the curve has slope different slope at different points so let's choose the point x equal to negative 2 and find the point of intersection of that point that line and the curve so here is it let's get the point of intersection uh, the fourth tool uh, sorry this the second tool intersect click on the straight line and the curve so that is the point of intersection the curve and the straight line you have the point of intersection so here is x equals 2 I'm actually interested in just that point x equals 2 and not the line so I'll hide this line right now so at x equals 2, we expect the slope of this curve to be a positive number. I'm going to get the tangent at that point. The tangent of this curve at this point is actually this straight line. All right. And what is the slope of this straight line at that point? The slope here is 8. So it means at x equals negative 2. The slope of the curve is 8 okay what of this point x equals minus 0 0.5 let's see what the slope would be 
at x equals minus 0 0.5 we expect the slope to be a negative number all right that is the point x equals minus 0 0.5 let's choose the point of intersection of the curve and the straight line <coughs> excuse me again we are only interested in that point so let's hide that line leaving the points only then get the tangent of the curve at that point here is the tangent of the curve at this point and let's see what the slope of that tangent will be it's expected to be a negative value and that is it minus 5.5 so it means at x equal to minus 0 0.5 the slope of this curve is minus 5.5 all right lastly let's see what the slope of the curve at x equal to 1.5 will be x equal to 1.5 so at x equal to 1.5 let's get the point of intersection of this curve and this straight line again our interest is just to is just the point c so we can hide the straight line then uh, get the tangent of the curve at the point c tangent of this curve at that point that is the tangent and let's see what the slope of that particular straight line will be uh, we expected it to be a positive number looking at it we have the slope to be 18.5 so with this your students will be convinced that for a curve there are different values for different uh, for different points of x there is a particular there are different uh, value for the slope of the curve okay now how do we actually how do you make this interesting for your student to see how do you make them see different value for of a slope for different points of x without actually picking the points one uh, by one you want it to run through automatically so what i'm going to do now is to select all this slope and uh, the points let's delete them leaving the curve uh, only so I can show you how to do that making your lesson very very interesting so I'm not uh, interested in this equation again let's delete these delete these and delete these all right so what you need to do is to get using the uh, tool which is known as a slider to choose different a range of value of x range of values of x so let's choose range of values of x using this tool known as the slider all right i want us i want us to choose from negative three up to some points let's say 2.3 from negative three to 2.3 now click anywhere at here then your minimum should be uh, minus 3 and the maximum should be 2.3 so this is the range of values of x leave it uh, at number okay now we've chosen the range of values of x it means uh, whatever point we want to uh, whatever point of intersection whatever point on the curve we want to choose will be a point that we entirely depend on this particular uh, values on the slider from minus 3 up to 2.3 and to achieve that we have to first of all get uh, the points uh, the current point of the slider the current uh, equation of the slider x equal to a let's just type x equal to a so right now this is a, the straight line x equal to a this line represents x equal to a that is right now it is x equal to minus 2.4 x equal to minus 2.2 x equal to minus 1.1 x equal to 0 0.2 x equal to 0 point x equal to 1 so it's meaning that this line also depends on that slider now what is that point that would depend on the slider that would change as the slider changes now that point will be the point of intersection of this curve and this straight line okay just like we've seen earlier right now we can close or hide this line so that we have just the points let me increase the size of the points and also give it a different color for it to be fancy all right this is beautiful 
okay with this once i move my slider around so you can see the point is also moving around instead of having static points like i showed you earlier we can have a dynamic point point that moves around depending on the slider you've created okay now we can also get the tangent of that curve at different points as the slider moves so also the tangents will also change or move change its position that's the tangent we can actually change move the slider right now and see how the tangent moves so you can see the chart the tangent is moving from one point to the other as i drag my slider from left to right as i go within uh, the range of values of x chosen okay the next thing i would love us to do again is to get the slope of that line at that point and again we can see the beauty of using the slider it will show us the slope at different points as we move the slider from left to right so now with this your students will see the beauty of uh, this particular concept of tangents of a curve at a point so you can show them the tangent at a curve at different points by making use of this slider this concept also can this idea can be used to uh, teach your students about sketching curves using differentiation where the slope increases where the slope changes its position where the slope is negative and where the slope uh, changes its position okay increasing and decreasing function you can use this to explain or teach your students that particular concept okay finally uh, I would like to get a point that depends on the values from the slider that is the range of values of x and also the slope let's get a point p let's call that point p equal to it depending on the values of x which is those values we've already uh, entered in the slider and the gradient let's see how this this point will move or will change how will this point change its position uh, as x changes with respect to the gradients how will the point change its position so that is the point p okay let's see what happens as the slider moves to the right the point goes up as it moves to the left the point comes down and uh, again it turns and moves up okay this is beautiful so let's see what is going on by showing a trace uh, the trace as this point is moving let's actually turn on the animation see the points move as the slider moves from uh, left going to the right and that is it gets to 2.3 the point is coming down and uh, changing its position okay let's see what's going on here can see that the tangent is changing its position also let's hide this tangent and hide the slope just the point p and a you can see right there so what do you observe <coughs> excuse me so what you can observe is that a curve is the path through which that point p is traveling and the, that curve will be the the gradient or the the, diff, the derivative of the given function f of x so let's get the derivative f prime of x as you can see f prime of x is 6x squared plus 6x minus 4 and that line has appeared exactly where this point p is traveling through let's pause this and look at this oh that is it you can see that the gradient of this function is actually the gradient of the curve that is the tangent of the curve at different points the tangent of the curve at different points of x is the derivative the first derivative of the given function let's see again one more time before we end this video so you can see this is very interesting concept and lovely software that you can actually use to teach your students some beautiful concepts as this and let's stop making mathematics look so abstract to students let's make use of this lovely software or application to help them see the beauty of mathematics now imagine a student learning this concept by watching this video the students will so much appreciate 
this particular topic and at least see have a visualization of what you're teaching him or her okay thank you guys i hope you do enjoy this video remember to like share drop a comment if you have any question you feel free to drop a question on the comment section and subscribe to this youtube channel click on the notification button to get notified whenever uh, we post new video in the youtube channel thank you guys for watching one more time uh, do have a wonderful day goodbye